clone Photoshop using Python. Let's check how it is done. Python has got a library called Pillow or PIL. You have to first say pip install PIL from your terminal. Once that is done, you have to import certain functions from the PIL library. That's one of the most sophisticated and enhanced library for image manipulation in Python. So now we need an image on which you can manipulate, enhance, filterize it, etc. So I would suggest that you have got an image already and you have to make sure that the image is in the same place where your program file is or you can open it as a full directory in your ID. So that would work out. Alright. So guys, now we have got our file that is a file.png. You have to open the image for manipulation, filterizing, sharpening, all of that stuff. So you're going to say image img equals to image.open file.png. That is the same file and it is in the same directory as of mine. So I'm just giving the direct file name. Alright, now let's say you want to edit the brightness of the image. So let me show you how you can manipulate the brightness of the image with one of the, with one of the image enhanced functions of pillow. So you're going to say brightness manipulation equals to pil.image enhance. But as you can see, we have already imported image enhance. So you can directly just write image enhance. Alright, then now you can say dot and here we got the option of brightness class. You're going to say brightness. Okay, now you're going to supply the image that's going to be img. Okay, and then you have to say dot enhance. And you have to give the factor. So if I want to reduce the brightness of 50%, I can just say 0 0.5. It will come by down by 50%. If I say 2, it will become 200% double. That's going to be twice. One is standard, the normal brightness. Zero is completely dark or uh, black. You can say and 0 0.5, you can say half of it. Okay. Now what you have done is you have edited the image or manipulated the brightness. Now you have to save that respective image. So you're going to say brightness manipulation dot save, and you're going to say edited image dot png. Okay, because PNG is a higher resolution. Once this is done, you can say print image save. Okay, now let us run the program. Now, as you can see, when I come into my directory, I can see two files file and Im edited image. And you can see the edited image is having a relatively lesser brightness than file, and that's how you can manipulate the brightness. Okay, now let me talk something about how you can manipulate the sharpening of the image. Dot sharpen. Okay. So now you have done this. Now what if you want to rotate the image? So we can just say dot rotate. We can just apply this rotate function out of every enhance or filter parameter. We are going to say by how much degree, 90 degree, minus 90 degree, all of that stuff. But we don't want to rotate our image. We just want to keep it direct in this case. So you are going to let it leave it over here. And if you want to make the image to grayscale, you can do that. You can say dot convert. So you can pass the parameter of L that will convert it to grayscale. All right. Now here I am demonstrating different functions differently and I am saving in different files. What you can do is you can combine them in one file as like a program or something. You press and edit the respective function and it's going to save it into that jam one file. Alright, you can see there's another file called sharpened image. So in this case you can see this and this, this image will be relatively more sharpened. But the brightness is normal because this was another image and this is another image. They are two different manipulated images. You can save it into one as well. It's not a problem. On the link of where you can find this, you can officially find this on the pillows library, the documentation, where they have taught or they have displayed and taught how to uh, use each of the image enhancing and filtering functions. So as you can see, all the documentation, how it works for the filtering functions and for the image enhancing functions, you can see brightness, contrast, sharpening, coloring, everything is taught there. You can just go and the link will be in the description box below. So I hope guys this video has provided some insightful content to you and if you find this video interesting then make sure to subscribe, like and share.